Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Today I'm going to show you how to tap a hole in a piece of 8 inch plate steel using the tap that we sharpened in the last video. To drill the hole, we're going to put a mark on it with a brick punch to center up the drill bit. One quick punch, we've got a nice mark in the plate and our drill bit will stay centered on that mark. Now we tighten up the vise. Open up the chuck. Set the drill bit in. Turn it clockwise so it locks. Just snug, doesn't have to be really tight. A brush drill is designed to go against your chest. You can push up against the object and crank the handle generate a fair amount of force. I like to place the drill down here more in my stomach so it gives me more leverage being down low. Line up the drill bit with a punch mark. Set the drill against my stomach and crank the handle. We have a nice hole in our steel plate ready to be tapped. But before we do that, we're going to do something else. This is a countersink bit. The countersink is designed to put a chamfer at the leading edge of the hole. Let's the tap start a little easier. We're going to do this at the entrance and exit. That way we have a nice clean spot for our tap to work. Doesn't take much. Just a little bit. See how it's got a nice chamfer on that hole? Do the same on the other side. Now we're ready to run the tap in. You can tap in the vertical position, but I like using the horizontal position just because it's easier. The square shank on the tap goes into the square pocket on the end of the tap handle. Tighten the collet up, locks onto the shank of the tap. Now we're ready to tap. Just one more step. A little bit of oil. Makes the tap work better. When you start the tap, you want to hold it so that it's straight with the hole. We don't want to cross thread it. If we run the tap in at an angle, it'll actually start like this. But you'll end up with a hole that's threaded crooked. And the bolt won't sit straight. And a good chance that you're going to overload the tap and break it. Now you notice I'm using both handles. When you're first starting the tap, it's a little tough sometimes, but this is a good sharp tap and it's cutting fairly easy. Taps are very strong with torque. They'll take a good bit of radial load, but they won't take any side load at all. If I was to pull this sideways, I'd snap that tap right off. Okay, we're through the hole. We'll use this bolt as a thread gauge. There you go.
Now all that's left is to put away the tools. But I'll let you go play with your other toys while I'm doing this. There's a variety of different kinds of taps. This is called a bottoming tap. When you compare that tap against the taper tap that we were using to tap the hole with, you can see that the lead in is a lot shorter on the bottoming tap than it is on the taper tap. That lets you get close to the bottom of a hole and thread it almost all the way down. This is a machine tap. Only has two flutes. Makes it stronger. This one's also a fine thread. Machine taps come in all different styles and sizes. This is a quarter twenty. This is a quarter twenty-eight. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos that you've seen today, click here to subscribe. If you like this video very much, click down here to say like. Thanks a lot for watching.